The Texas Longhorns are back in the top 25, and they're on the road against number 13 TCU. And this game will not disappoint. It is going to come down to the final play of the game before the winner is decided. So make sure you stick around and watch it till the very end. Maybe Texas is getting bored with the successful running attack that they've had so far this year, but they're opening up the game against the Horn Frogs, throwing the ball early and often. We've got Armani, we've got Marcus. What about Dahe? Who's left? And touchdown, Dahe Johnson. Sharing the rock is Tyrone Swoops. And a touchdown with the Longhorns on top. Seven to nothing. First drive of the game. And maybe it's a good thing we're throwing the ball. Jonathan Gray going down for a quarter. Chris Warren, you're going to have to step up your game, young freshman. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they push him out. The defense, though, they're already stepping it up. Showing up, ready to play, forcing a punt on TCU's opening possession. Trevon Boykin. No first down for you, young man. Unfortunately, though, the Longhorns find themselves in a similar situation. They've got to punt it back to TCU. Now with the ball close to midfield. Oh, and Boykin is on point with the pass. But the ball gets deflected. And intercepted by Bryson Eccles. Sometimes you just got to get lucky and you slide a little bit of skill in there. It's an interception for the Longhorns, who are still going to the air. Armani Foreman with another catch. 13 yards and a first down. The Longhorns are on the move again. Handed it off to the freshman, Chris Warren. He's always got somebody he wants to run over. A first down run. Is up by a touchdown. Let's give it to the big fella one more time. We got tight ends coming around. We got guards pulling. Chris Warren finishing it off, always moving forward. Let's see if we can punch it in. Fourth and inches, as if there was any doubt. First down, now second and goal. Warren's a little bit gassed. We're going deep into the well, going to the third stringer. Catalan, touchdown. That might be his first. That's got to be his first rush of the year, and it's a touchdown. Longhorn's up 14 to nothing. How in the world does this game come down to the final play? I know right now you're probably thinking that I'm just making it up, but I am not kidding you. You won't believe it how it plays out. And that is a slight hint. UT was on the move, ready to go up three scores just before halftime. But Tyrone Swoops tosses his first interception of the game. Emphasis on first after getting the ball back. That's his second. TCU in scoring position. Oh, put your ear plugs in. TCU sounding off the horn. Josh Doxson with the touchdown reception. And Tyrone Swoops going for the trifecta. That's three interceptions he's thrown in the first half. What in the world just happened? 14 to seven. TCU with the ball to start off the second half. Boykin scrambling around and he fumbles the ball. Swoops, he's trying to blow it with his arm, but blew it. The defensive lineman scoops it up. Can Texas finally put the ball back in the end zone? Jonathan Gray with the carry. He's got a blocker. First and goal from the one. Gray looking strong. 11 carries, 62 yards so far. And he's going to take the very next handoff. And he puts it in for a touchdown. UT up 21 to 7. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on. The Texas defense has been strong. Moving around. 
keeping the Horn Frogs on their toes. But TCU was able to run the ball a little bit in this game. The passing game, though, is where they had to try to stop them. Santos, the king when it comes to stopping the screen pass. They got a chip block on him. He couldn't quite make the play. There's a slant. He's just a half step late with Santos once again. And that's a touchdown. Boykin to Deontay Gray. TCU only down one score. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Texas can't do anything with the ensuing possession. It's back in the hands of the purple and black. Another screen play. This time, though, Evans makes a nice play. Splits the double team on the perimeter. Pushes a man out. It's fourth and five. Texas gets the ball back. On second down along, going to try a screen pass of their own. Jonathan Gray takes the pass. He runs a guy over. He's got blockers, and he doesn't quite have the speed to break it. But a huge gain out to midfield. Texas on the move again. A minute left before the fourth quarter. They could really use some more points on the board. Speaking of which, the Longhorns in field goal position, trying to get that first down to keep the drive going. Swoops drops back. Oh, it was a three-step drop. He got happy feet, and he drifted back. No reason to do that. That is a rookie mistake by a veteran guy that should know better. Forces the long field goal, and it doesn't have the distance. Texas still, with only a seven-point lead, makes absolutely no sense with the way that they can run the ball and the way they started this game. The defense is keeping them in at fourth and three, crowding it inside, blitzing. They pick it up. Johnson takes it. He's got blockers. What? In a... Unbelievable. It's a tie game with five minutes left. Can the Longhorns actually lose this game? He makes his way out to about the 35 and up the first down. Well, I know one thing. If UT has any intelligence, they'll start running the ball in, stop, letting Swoops throw it, and they do. He keeps it on the read option. Much like the Oklahoma game, TCU started crashing down hard inside, trying to stop the inside run, leaving the outside open. Here's Swoops, though, ready to throw. He chucks one up, and there, there were at least three guys around the receiver. That's his first. Fourth interception of the game with three minutes left. Trevon Boykin and company have got the ball in their hands, and they've got a chance to go win this thing. Got hit and still completed it. And down he goes at the 38. And so far, TCU is trying to nickel and dime their way down the field. Yeah, we got an injured player. But a tough hit. Tough injury as well. Brings up second and nine. Texas faking the blitz. Gets Boykin excited. He scrambles and Santos, the tackler, the senior, steps up at middle linebacker. He's blitzing. Oh, no, it's a screen. But cover two saves him. The cornerback stepped up and broke it up fourth and four with two minutes left. They have to punt it back to Texas. The Longhorns are throwing again, but this time Swoops finds his tight end, the freshman, Devonair Clarington. He moves him up to the 40. Swoops again to throw. Armani Foreman with the catch. Another first down. Only a minute left. This time he hands it off to Gray. He shifts left and cuts it back up the middle. A nice seven-yard pickup. The clock's still ticking. 36, 35. Swoops audibles, hands it off to Warren, who's in as a sub. He's got the first down. That's going to stop the clock with 30 seconds left. Another play in 10 seconds later. It's second and six. The handoff to Gray cuts it up the middle. He stopped. 17, 16, only one timeout. The clock's still ticking. Swoops calls him back to the line. 10 seconds, nine, eight. What is he doing? Call a timeout, Swoops. He dies and he'll be marked down. Oh, and Jonathan Gray. He saves the day. He dives down to end the play with two seconds left. The Longhorns call a timeout. 
UT lines it up for the game-winning field goal. Can they punch it through? It's up. He got it. They win. And that gives them the lead. Oh, the Longhorns pull out the victory. They tried to hand it away. But they clawed back. Never gave up the lead. But had to fight back on the final drive of the game. Kicked a field goal to win it. Oh, take a deep breath. Texas, your undefeated Big 12 season is still alive. A great game defensively kept us in this one. It's time to take a second deep breath and move on. I hope you enjoyed, folks. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and like. Leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next episode. Kansas, here we come.